Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about the leak that rocked social media last night and you guys already know it's the much anticipated release of Jaclyn Hill's newest collaboration which she has been teasing for the past year at least. If you're not familiar with this story, I'll give you a brief overview. So Jaclyn Hill has collaborated with several makeup companies over her YouTube career including Sigma Beauty, Gerard Cosmetics, Morphe Brushes and of course Becca Cosmetics which began with her signature highlighter, champagne pop and turned into an entire champagne collection. Jaclyn has also been working on her very own cosmetics line which is set to launch early this year in addition to working on another big collaboration with a secret company. Speculation has been spreading like wildfire over the internet and social media as she's been dropping little hints and sneak peeks for at least the past year. It appears that this was a project she really put her heart and soul into and looks as though she was very hands-on with respect to shade choices and as you can see from this picture she posted to her Instagram in February 2016 which I am assuming is related to this project and not her own cosmetics line but of course I could be wrong. It's very evident from this picture that she's reviewing eyeshadow shades and textures and taking notes so she clearly had a lot of creative control in the project and I think we can assume that this project meant a lot to her and I think I think this point is further strengthened now that the project has been revealed as a palette that is dedicated to her subscribers. Knowing that this palette in particular would be under a significant amount of scrutiny and criticism, I believe she would have put her all into this collab, making sure it was perfect both on her end and the company who she collabed with after the whole Becca scandal. Now, during the whole creative process, as I said, Jacqueline dropped little teasers and sneak peeks, one of which was the photo on the left taken from her Snapchat and re posted by Beauty FX by Celeste and simultaneously Linda from Morphe Brushes posted the photo on the right to her Instagram and if you look closely at the backdrop that the shadows are placed on it is identical in both photos so they were obviously working together on this project for a while. So this is an update hot off the press. Jacqueline just went on Snapchat confirming that Linda from Morphe had flown to Florida where Jacqueline lives during the creative process to work on this palette with her and it all makes sense now as to why both of their backdrops were the exact same. Okay, so we are all caught up to December 2016 where Jacqueline started dropping major hints that this palette was very close to being released. On December 29th, 2016, she posted this tweet asking if her fans were ready for her new collab and also teasing that she would be dropping some more hints in two weeks time. This of course sent her fans into a tailspin of possible companies she can be working with and one fan asked her to drop a hint using emojis to which she responded with red fiery emojis and we know Jacqueline lives for warm tones so it's pretty easy to figure out that it was an eyeshadow palette. Fast forward to yesterday when Jacqueline snapped herself at a photo shoot in LA looking beautiful in these stunning gowns and obviously very happy and almost glowing in her snaps. You could just tell that she was so proud and excited about whatever it was that she was working on. You could almost feel it through the snaps. So imagine how devastated she must have been having to find out that the cat was out of the bag and everything that she worked so hard on for the past two years had already been leaked on social media and the buildup to the moment she waited all this time to reveal was taken from right under her nose and she wouldn't even have the pleasure of announcing it herself. Pretty shitty, huh? So here's how it went down. Last night on Instagram, a bakery by the name of Delicious Bakery Inc. posted a picture to their Instagram which revealed a cake made into an eyeshadow palette with the following quote written on it. This palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers, XO Jaclyn Hill. Well, someone got a hold of this picture and the rest was history. Allegedly what happened was that someone sent it to Hot Fire Beauty on Instagram. They watermarked it as if it was their own, even though technically it isn't. It's the bakery's and they posted it to their page and the whole thing gained major momentum when the Instagram page Trend Mood reposted the same picture and allegedly cropped out Hot Fire Beauty's watermark, which really shouldn't matter anyway, as they don't own the rights to the picture. Again, it's the bakeries. So now we have a few issues. One is people were pissed that Trend Mood posted the picture without giving credit to Hot Fire Beauty, which personally I don't give a shit about. And the other issue is the fact that Trend Mood is notorious for leaking privileged inside information such as new launches prematurely before the brand itself makes the initial announcement. Let's talk a bit about Trend Mood. If you aren't familiar with her, her real name is Sophie. 
So she is a beauty related Instagram page. I don't know a whole lot about her background in the beauty industry or whether she's an actual makeup artist, beauty blogger, beauty editor, or some type of industry professional. But from what I understand from others, she was a fan who started posting pics on Instagram and made it big when her channel grew to over half a million followers, earning her access to industry launches and parties in addition to being privy to confidential information such as new product launches, release dates, all that stuff, insider information. Allegedly, she works with brands to gain early access to new releases so she can be the first one to post it to her Instagram, which I think is totally unethical and wrong on her part, as well as the company's part for allowing her the opportunity to participate in this behavior. And again, I'm not going to get too far into her because I think she deserves her own video due to her lack of respect of her peers in the same industry. Also, she can be the first one to post a picture. Adding to that, she allegedly is known to use other people's photos without giving credit, making it seem as though she's the one breaking the news. How she continues to behave in this matter is beyond me. I know that her Instagram was once taken down and I'm not sure the actual reason why, in my opinion. The way I see her and her page is like the National Enquirer of the makeup world. Slimy, unethical, and ruthless. Also, she can get her pick up. There's a lot more to her unethical, unprofessional behavior, but like I said, I'll rip into her in another video. And here's another thing. This is a list of some of the people that Jacqueline follows on Instagram and you'll notice that Trend Mood is one of them. I've seen other posts where Jacqueline has commented and Trend Mood has replied, so they obviously have some kind of relationship, right? Don't you think she would have known that the collab announcement hadn't been made yet, or at the very least, don't you think she could have asked Jacqueline out of respect? Even if the pick was already on smaller accounts, maybe it could have been dealt with? I don't know, I'm asking you. Anyway, after the cake pick was leaked, all the little inspector gadgets came out and got their rich luxe magnifying glass and clocked at the house. They somehow spotted that little speck of dust I highlighted as a Morphe bag, as you can see from the blown up version on the right, together with the sneak peek pics Jacqueline posted and the design of the cake, boom, the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe was out of the bag. Trend Mood got a lot of heat for this, and rightfully so in my opinion, so she deleted the post when questioned why she deleted it, she advised that Jacqueline wanted to announce it herself. Um, really? You think? They later posted this collage in an attempt to backpedal, leaving Morphe as a question mark after clearly stating in their first photo that Morphe was the brand behind the collaboration. After the news broke, a fan tweeted Jacqueline to ask if she was aware of the leak and she said yep. They all found out on set and were devastated. Can you even imagine finding out after all that hard work, two years of formulating these shadows, and the long day of photo shoots and all the money spent on promo photos and all of that stuff. I can only imagine the feeling of absolute sadness they must have all felt, especially after what literally looked to be like such a fun day for everybody involved. To make matters worse, this is how Trend Mood, again, Sophie, decided to handle the situation. I mean, you would think that she would, that Jacqueline would be owed some sort of an apology, but in my opinion, this was anything but. Now, Sophie, or Trend Mood, took to Snapchat to address the issue, which I tried to save but wasn't able to for some reason. She basically said that she deleted the post out of respect to Jacqueline, yet didn't so much as say that it was wrong to do in the first place. No apology to Jacqueline or her team, but she did tell people to stop being so dramatic, so there's that. It just seemed like she was addressing it to cover her own ass. Did anybody see the snap last night? Tell me what you thought. I think Sophie should know better considering she just had a collab herself with Ciate, which baffles me to begin with, but whatever. So, on top of it all, having had their backs against the wall, Morphe and Jacqueline released the announcement today out of pure necessity. And Jacqueline even said on Snap today they didn't plan on releasing the announcement for several weeks. This picture was taken yesterday, by the way, so tell me what you thought about the whole situation. The collab itself, were you surprised to find out it was with Morphe? Are you excited for it? What do you think of Trend Mood and her actions? Do you think I should make a separate video on her? There is a lot to discuss on this one. And oh, if you're wondering what happened to the cake company, well, they made their page private and I'm sure that they joined the Witness Protection Program. So leave all of your thoughts and everything below and I will talk to you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.